The night has come, it's cold and losing my control Your light is gone, and lonely darkness fill my soul I wish that you could save me, from my isolation It's way too complicated, let's stop this conversation This conversation We got no relation The TAR 154 is a German Rank 3 battle rating 4.3 twin engine interceptor that is one of if not the best German premium aircraft in the tech tree. This wooden wonder climbs well, turns and rolls okay, due to not storing its fuel in the wings, and it retains energy reasonably well. But the main feature of this interceptor are its guns, it has two MK 130mm sausage launchers and two MK 15120mm Wiener dispensers firing the devastating Mininch Scoss rounds. These two guns allow the TAR 154 to hit harder than the Blitzkrieg. And yet despite this, TAR 154 players are consistently some of the most brain dead. But don't worry my fellow German mains, for I have devised four simple rules, which should help you achieve more success with the TAR 154. Rule 1. You are not a single engine fighter. Rule 2. You are a support fighter. Rule 3. Energy is key to your survival and finally. Rule 4. You are made out of wood. I will go in depth into these in a moment but first, I want you to consider subscribing, and liking this video if you enjoyed it, or learned something from it. This took ages to make and I would appreciate it tremendously. But, now without further ado let's make some Russian mains cry. Listening to the wise words of Jeremy Clarkson. Speed is good for business. As we have just heard, speed and energy are key for your survival. To gain speed you need potential energy and to gain potential energy, you have to climb. But wait, how do you climb? I would recommend side climbing away at a speed of 230 km an hour as I have linked a climb chart down below where you can find the optimal climb angles for each aircraft. Climbing is incredibly important for the TAR 154 as you won't be able to fight otherwise. Once you are at an altitude of 4 to 5 km you can begin looking for targets. While many players have come from single engine fighters it is important to remember that you can only outturn bombers or other twin engine fighters. Therefore it is important to use boom and zoom tactics. Boom and zoom refers to diving down onto an enemy from a higher altitude, making an attacking pass and then zooming back up to higher altitude so that your enemy cannot follow and attack you. As we can see here, I spot two fighters below me, using the boom part of the tactic I quickly dive down to begin an attack run. I managed to destroy both fighters but had I missed I could have climbed quickly again and both fighters would have been unable to reach and attack me. The TAR 154 is made mostly out of wood, meaning it is very fragile. Despite this, it is incredibly good at head-on attacks. Simply fire at the enemy at around 1.2 kilometers and turn away but, do, not, turn fight them if you have missed. The TAR 154 lacks one of the key characteristics to dogfight, and that is the ability to turn. This, along with its guns make the TAR a great support fighter. The most important aspect of becoming a support fighter is, not to start engagements, instead, support allies who are fighting other aircraft on their tails by boom and zooming them and always stick close to your allies. While I understand that teamwork and war hunter doesn't exist, 
the TA-154 thrives in this role as a support fighter. Overall, the TA is a great aircraft, and can print you silver lines if used well. It's fast, is good at keeping energy after a dive and, the firepower on this flying tree is unbelievable. Furthermore its S-Born gives it an even greater advantage. I would definitely recommend buying this aircraft if you are looking for a good premium. Thank you for watching, if you have not already, consider subscribing and liking this video and also let me know in the comments what aircraft I should do next. Cheers fellas.